and I will build something that nobody can destroy. John Gotti is such an iconic person, and obviously my Johnny is an iconic person playing another icon, so it was amazing. It was really an adventure. Initially, it was presented to me over seven years ago. It was a fabulous modern uh, day character that I felt it would be a challenge to pull off. And um, then I persisted through many incarnations, different actors, different directors, different scripts. But finally, we got the right meld of gangster life and family life that tells the story accurately. I grew up on uh, Long Island, New York, which is not too far from uh, the Gambino and Gotti stronghold uh, in, in their heyday. So, you know, they were in the paper every day and on the news every day. So, you know, I, I think there's kind of a weird uh, interest in kind of gangsters and this fascination with the gangster lifestyle. So early on, we, you know, we had made the creative choice to, to not make it the same movie that has been made so well by, you know, so many great filmmakers. We really wanted to take more of a look at sort of the family life. This one was really special because of the characters. I really enjoyed playing with Victoria, and I got to speak with her and really watch her ask her questions. And then we became email buddies, so I could ask her anything. And she gave me her jewelry. She gave me her wedding ring and her other most prized ring that uh, John had given her. And I could ask her any question, which was kind of amazing. So if I was in a scene, I would be able to say, what would you really be feeling? or what would you say, or is this right, or, uh, you know, what sort of music and everything. It was, it was wonderful. Besides portraying him accurately as I, I could, part of the challenge was to discover why was he so loved. And then I discovered that he was a very generous guy to the neighborhoods that he influenced. Um, he would bail businesses out if they were failing. Uh, and although he may have gotten a percentage of, of business, he never allowed them to go in the red. And he was very um, group oriented, you know. If the group wanted fireworks at July 4th, he would supply fireworks. If they, barbecues, uh, goodwill gestures to ill children or, or to, uh, to families in need, you know. So he had a generous heart and family mattered a lot. And uh, all that I think is a dichotomy to what you think he might be about. Mrs. Gotti, do you know what your husband does for a living? He provides. 